What is happening, YouTube? Um, this is Renee coming to you guys from the R and R Designs, and uh, I made this. And it's been a little while since we made any videos, but um, we're back in action, and um, we are doing this video on a floating headliner for a 1967 Impala. We're do we're doing this floating style headliner. So I want to do this quick video to show you guys. And then also too, we are reconfigurating the sail panel. Check this out. That's going to look cool. Check out that sail panel. We can reconfigurated the sail panel on this 67 Impala because <sighs> the original sail panel on this car. Check this out. Check this out. The original sail panel on this car goes right there. Now that looks kind of terrible because look at there's a straight line that comes down. So with that piece of metal, this guy right there, that is where the original cell panel would go. So look at how the 67 and part of the phenomenal thing about this car is the way the roof just slants into the trunk. So it all flows. Wham! It all flows. And then right here the cell panel just goes straight. So, um, this, I've never liked that. This is, um, this is our personal car that we're building. So, check out this. Check this out. So, this is a new cell panel design. We reconfigurated this original cell panel. So, this cell panel that we've designed, you will be able to use, um, if you have a stock headliner. You can get these cell panels. Look at that. Look at how it swoops. The swoop starts from there. Look at that. Bam. That looks much better. Much, much better. So, this is our floating style headliner. That's what we're talking about. Um, so, the way when you do these headliners, these cars have a support beam. It has a support beam that runs across the width of the car. Right there. And then it, it runs from uh, uh, front to back. So the support beam has a spacing, has a space between this little, the, the, the raised part in that metal and the roof of the car. And the distance is less than a half an inch. It's like three eighths of an inch. So the idea is that you want to do your mathematics pretty nice. So um, you want to be super careful, drill a pilot hole and uh, be very careful. We were able to, <laughs> we don't put holes through the roof of the car. Um, hold on. Knock on wood. Um, we don't put holes. If you do your math right and be super careful, um, you can put this on. So it's real simple. Um, you, I got a piece of half, um, half inch MDF and I cut it like 20 by 20 by like 26 and I marked the center and I and I pre-drilled the holes. I lined it up it has four screws that hold it It's got like a cross. It's got one in the front and back. It's got four screws and then the screws the trick with this The trick with this is that you have to really really carefully Really really carefully um, put these screws on so you drill the pilot hole with an eighth inch drill bit um, This the wood is half an inch the screw is uh, three quarters of an inch. So the screw is going to go into that metal a quarter of an inch. And you have three eighths of an inch before you start going through the paint. So that's the perfect size. So as long as you do your math right, uh, make your measurements right, you'll be okay. On the sides, check this. On the sides, um, on the sides, I put these quarter inch spacers. And I used a one inch screw because on the sides, on both sides, it was lower. Okay, so on both sides, uh, there was a, if I would have just put the three quarter inch screw, this piece of wood, it would have flexed and you don't want that. So there was a quarter inch gap. So I put a little quarter inch spacer and then I used a one inch screw on these sides. Um, so then again, so that the screw going into this metal, it only goes in a quarter of an inch and you'll be okay. So that is uh, the basis, um, this wire, this uh, this is gonna be our power wire. I'm gonna put an LED. I'm gonna make a LED dome light, a little insert 
on this headliner. It's going to be a custom floating headliner, like I was telling you guys. So the little, um, uh, those wires, is my positive, negative, and it's the factory wires. Um, on this other end, I put like a butt connector on each end, and I tuck them away. Um, so I'm going to use the factory wires to run my little custom dome light that I'm going to make. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next video of this headliner finished. It's going to look awesome. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope everybody is all right. Uh, have a good day. Look at that RC car though. Dang.